Hey guys, welcome to the video and here today we are going to be covering the whole file splitting and rejoining process. For those of you who are going to be using a FAT32 formatted external hard drive in conjunction with your PS3. So it goes without saying that in order for all of this to work, obviously you'll need to have a modded PS3. In that modded PS3, you'll need to have Multiman installed, and then you will also need a PC. Do not be intimidated. Let me let you know up front, this is a very easy process. Um, the program I'm going to show you to use with your PC is very small, it's very easy to use, and it does all the work for you. On the PS3 end, Multiman takes care of everything for you um, in terms of recompiling or rejoining the files. So it's very easy. Uh, so don't worry about that part. So now go ahead and go into the description and you will see the link for the PS3 splitter uh, program in the description. Go ahead and download it and install it. If you want to run it through Virus Total or whatever you can, it's nice and clean. Pay attention to where it installs to because after it installs, if you're going to be using this quite a bit, I suggest you go into that folder where it installed. Look for the PS3 splitter.exe file and create a shortcut. Send the shortcut here to your desktop so you have it here. That way you don't have to be searching for it every time you're going to use it. Now for the next step, I would suggest you make a folder on your desktop. And this one we're going to call it Split Games. Now technically you can call it whatever you like, but this will just make it a lot easier. Now here today we are going to be covering three different types of files. Here we have a folder type backed up game, uh, which is Blues30543, and this is Vanquish, a good game by the way. Then we have Champions of Norath ISO, which is a PS2 ISO, but whether it's PS2, PS3, it doesn't matter. The program and Multiman will treat them the same. And then we have a large package file, which is the Resident Evil Darkside Chronicles game. And this one is about six and a half gigs. Now, once you're done with this, we can go ahead and move that out of the way. That's the installer. Let's go ahead and open up the program. Okay. And now what we're going to do is go into options and let's go ahead and click check and copy whole input directory to. And what you want to do is navigate to this folder that you just created, which is the split games folder. So we're going to go there. Let's go to users. Uh, let's go to Zoilus and to desktop. And then we are going to select split games. Okay. And just hit OK. Now we will hit this back arrow here. Okay. So now that we've done that, you're going to go to execute. Now we're going to begin with the backed up folder. In this case, it's Vanquish, the Blues 30543 backed up folder. And uh, just navigate to it here on your desktop. Mine is already highlighted right there. Okay. So all we're going to do is highlight the folder itself, the entire folder, and then we're going to hit OK. Once you hit OK, the process will automatically begin. Now, I've already done this, so I'm not going to hit OK again. Go ahead and hit OK and then just wait. It will take a while just depending on how big the file is. So once this is done, a window will pop up. Go ahead and close it and then you can close out of the program. I've already done this. Um, when you go into your split games folder, you will see the Blues 30543 Vanquish folder is there, at least in this example. Um, yours will say whatever your backup folder said, of course. And then when you go in here, you'll see everything is pretty much structured the same. But the large files in here that needed to be split have been split up. Don't worry, Multiman will fix this and I'll show you uh, what to do with it here in a bit. But first, let's take care of these other two types of files. That way we can just take care of everything all at once. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the program again. If you want, you can go to Options tab just to make sure that the destination directory is still the same, which it is. It's the split games directory we made on the desktop. Let's go uh, and hit the back arrow. And now here's something that you may not know, and I don't think it's really written down anywhere. Um, standalone files, such as ISOs and package files, this program, if you click on execute, you'll notice that here on my desktop, it's not finding it. 
That's because these standalone single files need to be inside of a folder in order for the program to find it. I would recommend that you make the folder the same name as whatever it is that you're putting into it. In this case, we're putting a PS2 ISO. Uh, again, it doesn't matter whether it's PS2, PS3, ISO, it's all the same. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a folder. And I already copied the name before, so I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to call it Champions of Norath USA, just like the ISO that's going inside of it. Let's put it in there and see it has the same name as the ISO. If we go to execute, there it is. Okay. Now when you hit OK, it will go ahead and it will break down the ISO into several pieces. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you at the next step. Again, once it's done, just close the window, close the program. Let's go into the split game files and you will see there it'll say Champion of Norath. And when you go in it, it will have the ISO split up into several pieces. Each piece will also have a different number uh, in ascending order. And uh, they will all start with three sixes. And this is perfectly normal. This is how multi-man will identify them and put them back together. So now that one's done. Let's go ahead and let's jump into Resident Evil. For Resident Evil, since it's a standalone package file, we're going to do the same thing. Open up the program. We're going to make a folder and we're going to call it the exact same thing as the package file. I had already copied the name, so I'm going to paste it. And you can see it's called Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. Hit enter. has the same name as the package file. Let's drag the package file into it. Now we can go into execute and we should be able to find it on our desktop. Somewhere around here. There it is. We'll click on it and then hit OK. When you hit OK, the process will begin. And so go ahead and do that. And again, I'll meet you when it's done. All right, so now that should be finished. Close out of everything. Let's go into Split Games. And there's the Resident Evil. Okay, now that that's done, go ahead and connect your USB to the PC. Now here I'm using a small one that uh, I just used for testing. Okay, well, let's go into it you should already have a folder called games, right? This is where your folder type backed up games go. In other words, the games that have these, uh, you know, the IDs here, like b the blesses, something or others, the, the uh, blesses, whatever. In this case, is Vanquish. This is a folder type backed up game. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy it over to this games folder that's on the root of the USB. And I'll show you what you're going to need to do with that in a minute. Now, the PS2 ISO game, which is Champion of Norath, I'm just going to copy the whole folder into a PS2 ISO folder. The PS2 ISO folder should be all caps, right, and just drag the whole entire folder there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take Resident Evil, which is a package type game, and I made a folder called PKG Games. Technically, this one you could call whatever you want. And I'm just going to drag this whole folder in there. If you have PS3 ISOs that you're doing, make sure you make a PS3 ISO folder, again, all in caps, and then you'll drag that folder into the PS3 ISO folder of your USB. So let's go ahead and do all of that, and then I'll meet you at the PS. All right, guys, so here we are at Multiman. I've already connected my FAT32 USB um, to the PS. Let me go ahead and change this background because um, I want you to be able to see stuff a little bit clearer. So let's go ahead and start with the folder type of backed up game, which in this case was Vanquish. And if you notice there, underneath the title Vanquish is a little box and it says split, and this is perfectly normal. Now on these folder type backed up games, when they're split like this, all you need to do here is just press X. The uh, PS, or in this case Multiman, will go ahead and it will do some recompiling just a little bit in its cache, so it's going to take a little bit longer than normal. And then it's going to take you to the XMB. You can load the uh, game or play the game, launch it, whatever, from the XMB from that point on. And um, you really don't need to compile it into your internal um, HDD when it's a folder that's been split. If this was a PS3 ISO, that's a different story. PS3 ISOs cannot be played um, from 
the uh, external drives when they've been split. So if it was a split one, you should be able to see it here as long as you structured it the way I showed you, like with the PS2 a little while ago, um, except on the root of your FAT32, your folder is going to be PS3 ISO all in caps, and that's where you'll put the uh, split file. You put the split file into its own folder and then stick that folder into the PS3 ISO folder of your FAT32. Anyway, it should show up here. You'll press X and then you'll be prompted um, to hit either yes or no. It's going to tell you the ISOs can be played from the external drive. When you hit yes, the PS3 ISO will recompile on its own and it will be placed in the PS3 ISO folder that is in your internal PS3's hard drive. Um, and I'll show you where that's at here in a minute. And that's how that works. Now, it's pretty much the same thing for the PS2. Um, the PS2, here we have Champions of Norrath. I showed you how I set up everything and see it finds it. If I wanted to play this, since it's split, it won't be able to play it. It has to be recompiled again. So when you press X, you'll be prompted uh, with this on your screen and then just hit yes and it's going to compile it. Of course it's going to take a little bit of time depending on the size of the file. When it compiles it, it'll put it into the PS2 ISO folder that's in your internal PS3's hard drive. Once an ISO is recompiled and has been put in your internal hard drive, then Webman should be able to see it from the XMB, so you should be able to load them from there and then of course launch it. And once a ISO, for example, has been uh, rejoined in your internal PS3, the split files will still remain on your external FAT32, so they will still be there. So let me go ahead and show you now how you're going to do the split package files, and I'm also going to show you what to do in case your ISO, like PS2 or PS3 ISOs, don't show up here on Multiman's XMB. So here we are in the file manager. Let's go into PS3 root. Let's move this over. And we're going to go into our FAT32 USB, which is right there. For right now, we're using the packages uh, type game, the one that's in PKG format, that we had split up. And there it is. It's the Resident Evil one. We're going to leave it right there. Let's open up PS3 root again. And this time we're going into dev HDD0. And let's move this over right there. Okay, so here in this directory, you're just going to double check just to make sure you have the packages folder there, which we have. Now, of course, if you have a package file that's under 4 gig, you can just install that from the XMB like you would any other package file once your FAT32 is connected to the PS. Um, this is, again, only for package files that you've had to split. So let's go over here. Uh, back to this site, and we're going to see the Resident Evil game that's in the PKG Games folder. So now we're going to cheat the system a little bit. We're going to give ourselves a little shortcut. We want it to compile or uh, rejoin the game here in this folder, but there's something that we have to do. When you have a, a package game <clears throat> that you decide you want to install, that you split, go to that folder of that game and temporarily name it Packages. So we're going to go in here, highlight it, hit circle, we're going to hit rename. Let's go ahead and delete all of this. And we are going to rename it packages, just like this. Make sure there's no space after the S. See here, it put a space, so hit square, and then hit start. Okay, and now it says packages exactly, oops, exactly the same way it is here. Now all you're going to do is hit circle. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, press X to highlight it, hit circle. Press X to copy, and when you do that, you're going to come here to this top bar. Anywhere on this top bar is fine. Then hit circle and hit paste. It's going to ask you, do you want to merge the folders or whatever together? You're going to say yes. Whatever you have in your package file here will not disappear. Okay, But what it will do is it will take this. It will take all of the pieces of the ISO and install them directly into the packages folder. If you don't rename it, it's just going to put the resident, in this case, the resident evil folder right in here, and it will compile, it will rejoin the, I, the pieces of the ISO together, but then you're gonna have to take it out of that resident evil folder to put it here in the packages folder, and you're gonna have to wait till all that data transfers again. 
That's why we rename it packages so it puts it right in here on the first try. After that, and once it's transferred and it's joined the ISO pieces together, you'll come here into the packages folder and you should see it all as one ISO, or excuse me, as one package file, which it's already there because I already did it. After it's done, you can come back to your game here and then just rename it back to whatever it was. Oh, guys, and I forgot, I know a lot of us know this, but there are some of us out there who are new. For those who have um, split package files and you've rejoined them inside of the packages folder of your PS3's hard drive in that dev HDD0 directory, once they've been compiled to install those package files, you would only need to go into your package manager and then you go into install package files and you look for the directory that says dev hdd0 packages or it might say install from packages folder or whatever. Go there and you should see your game and then just press X for it to install. Now in the event that your PS2 ISOs or PS3 ISOs or whatever don't show up on the Multiman XMB after you split them, let me go ahead and show you how to deal with that, right? So let's let's just say the PS2 file didn't show up, and you're going to do the same thing for PS3, right? Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go here into the PS2 ISO folder that's on your FAT32, and you're going to look for the game that you want. And you're basically going to do kind of the same thing we did with the package file. Once you find the game that you want, go to that game folder, hit circle, and rename it. But this time you're going to rename the game PS2 ISO, all in caps, just like it is right here. Then you'll hit circle, hit copy. You're going to come over here to your HDD0 directory, hit circle, and hit paste. What's going to happen is it's going to ask you, again, do you want to merge um, the folders? And you're going to say yes. What it's going to do is it's going to compile or rejoin all the pieces of that PS2 ISO directly into your PS2 ISO folder that is in your internal drive. If this was a PS3 game, you would do the same thing. You go to your FAT32, you navigate to your PS3 ISO folder that's on your FAT32 drive, go into it, rename that game folder that you want to PS3 ISO, copy it, and just come over here and hit paste and paste it and it will merge it with this PS3 ISO folder and when it's done the ISO will be in that folder and then you can launch it from Webman or Multiman or whatever once it's been rejoined and that's how you would do it. Alright guys, that's it. I'm sorry this was so long but hopefully it cleared up some stuff. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe and smashing that like button really helps me out. I will see you on the next one. And our next video should be on emulation starting with the PS2. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.